Good morning guys, um, welcome to this video. The fish that you're going to see in this video was mammoth, it was so big, it was by far my biggest fish I've ever caught. Um, although this season there seem to have been quite a few fish that have broken the 300 kilo mark, to me this is very special, I'm very fortunate to, got, to have gotten two on this trip, but this one in particular was just absolute tank. I remember trying to stand over it with my legs open trying to get to the mouth and open the mouth to get the hook out and I was just like oh my goodness I can't even believe like this is possible two years ago I would have said it's not possible so anyway I think like some coffee first thing basically I just wanted to say thanks to everyone for supporting the Mazeppa Bay series I really appreciate it um, I've learned so much in terms of the filming and the editing and it was my first attempt at this this YouTube channel really it's like I'm so excited to bring you guys some more content because I honestly feel feel like it will be a big improvement so before we go I just wanted to say also what's coming next straight up is I have a client uh, coming down today actually which is why I'm here in Jayway um, so I'm going to be covering some of that with you guys it's going to be a bit of a struggle though he's from a warm island in reunion and he's coming here and this whole week is like ice cold rainy and wet so i think he's going to struggle a bit to adapt to the environment but i'm sure i'll get him on some fish so i'll cover some of that with you guys and then what i'm really pumped about is i'm going with my dad on a tiger fishing trip in zambia and i'm going to be covering that as well so there's some good com content coming um, but yeah thanks again guys for all the support and watching and have a good day it feels like I'm babbling a little bit so let's roll the intro all right guys it is now eight o'clock Terry's been on since about one o'clock <laughs> oh, guys it's mayhem yeah May chaos 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 on the island There we go guys, there is landed this awesome grey. Look at that He's killing me. Go get him. Welcome to the second last day guys. Um, sea's looking tasty. We'll just have that vibe that we're gonna get absolutely stuffed up. Um, I don't know why the sea just has that look, there's a lot of bird activity out and um, it's not too far out. So they're not blasting distance but it's not too far, so the fish should be in and around the area. So guys are trying to get the kites out, so I just quickly put out a slide bait. I slid a whole metal bunny and a small one, so I won't leave it out too long. But I'm keen to see if uh, something's spotting here today. Stay tuned guys, I think it's going to be a good one. Let's see. And he's on, not entirely sure what, they didn't stuff off like my bites yesterday, but it doesn't seem to be a bag, it didn't eat like a bag or anything. Uh, we'll just have to stay tuned, keep you at it. The drag is a stall up. So it's 16, 16 kilograms now. Drag and now you are So it is definitely for the end of the first. Um, yeah, you have to first have to hard to. I'm going to grab it. 
Who goes on? Like I said this morning, or like we said this morning, today, I think, is the day. Second last day we're here, but today, I think, is the day. It's going to be one of those days. Get a bait out, you on. Hopefully they eat in the sly baits as well. But at the moment we have Marco and Ruan on who dropped the kites. Bronson, I think, has dropped his bait out on his kite as well. So we should have three kite baits out and uh, hopefully three hookups. But this, this is a nice fish. Had a bit of a difficult hookup, a bit of confusion with lines and stuff as well. Uh, it seems to be a current going from left to right. Um, but he's on now and he's taking some string. Decent fish, not a bag at least. Oh. We're in boys. So I dropped the bait 300 meters out, all bonito, and um, it's out. Chaos, chaos, chaos on the island. Marco's fish is close, so we're gonna try and see, see if we can land him. Okay, all three of us are on, so I'm gonna help Ruan. Um, there's no need to, like, Nochi, I, no, there's no need to flip and get your bait in and rush, there's no point, because then you four or five people on. No one to help each other, you end up losing the fish. So just help your friends, just stay patient. Um, yeah, Alice. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Just, thanks for it. Um, we're just gonna, I've got his, his water bag, our landing bag, tape measure, and everything in. And we're gonna try walking around the point to the little beach section on the left hand side because the water's low enough, or maybe it's low enough. Um, to get in there um, and then y'all later who one will help me so that's just all I want to say guys is like there's no point in rushing and getting over anxious and think you just make mistakes you end up losing fish just stay calm enjoy it for your friends enjoy it for everyone else that's fighting the fish the whole time will come you know it's not today it'll be tomorrow but it's only halfway through the day so yeah Sorry for the little life lesson. Yeah, we're running here now. We had tiny block. We miss if we can get him around the point. The one's doing well. He's got his stop shot on. And the fish is behaving nicely. Yeah. The fish is pointing the right direction you want him to be. So we're trying to keep in front of the fish so you pull his nose towards the direction you want to go and not at an angle because then they like to turn towards that angle. Um, does that make sense to you guys? The best I can describe it right now. Um, so Ruan is trying to stay in front of the fish to keep his nose pointing towards the bridge. Thank you. Look guys, clip and tie, master chops. Those batteries are should be right for this fight. My word. Okay, this fish is right in front. He's fishing a 20 meter leader. Almost had the lead in my hand. But we're gonna just try landing on the beach. Keep the fish's safety into consideration. She's quite tired though. So hopefully she plays along for the last bit. He's one, he's already started walking. Welcome, welcome. 
proper flipping grey this. Hold well on your one. Probably probably 250 at least. I'll get a measurement and let you out there. So we're done, you can walk it up and Okay. Tape measure. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put the camera off for battery. What's your name? What's your name? Mark Boutouris. He was our cameraman, Walter. Yeah. Ah, Walter. Um, he was our cameraman here at the end. Thank you very much, Walter. Yeah. Sure. Cheers, Sure. Up, guys. So, Marco and Ruo, uh, Bronson are still on. Bronson's walking in around the point where Ruan landed. Marco's fish is giving carrots in the front. Uh, it's just hanging there the whole time. And Terry's going to send out a bait now. The birds are working about 500 meters off the island. And um, I think every bait's been a, been a bite, so I'm really anxious to get a bait in the water. Terry and I were still baiting up. Marco was still finding his fish and Ruan had just landed his. Bronson's fish started moving left and it wasn't long and he was at the bridge. Bronson's fish played along nicely and he managed to maneuver it back towards the bridge around the point. While Freedom was holding his line off the rocks, he made his way back down the bridge. The key is here guys, once you are off the bridge, is to run as far left as possible and as quickly as possible. This is done in an attempt to regain as much line as possible, to keep the fish from turning back towards you and you having to re-access the bridge. What's up guys, so the camera got wet unfortunately, so we can't get you guys all the footage we wanted to, but I, in meanwhile I've gone on, one's gone on again, and Terry's gone on, the one's fish was a 140 kilo bronzy, Marcus fish was a 170 kilo bronzy, Bronson's fish was a 150 kilo bronzy, and me and Terry are on with both greys, one landed a grey earlier, and uh, then the second fish was a bronzy, and me and Terry seem to be both on with Grace, but it's, it's crazy. It's big fish. Yeah. It's crazy. And they eat your bait within five minutes. And uh, Danny, oh, Danny got stripped on the Tatica. <laughs> and he had to part off. But sorry that I can't get you all the footage we wanted. What's up, guys? Got a grey here. Yeah? Nice, big, flipping grey. Monster circle, nicely in the corner there, as you can see. Yeah, well, quick release. Sorry, couldn't get all the footage. But yeah, big, big, big. What's up guys, so Danny's on, uh, Terry's still on, I just landed my fish, Danny's fish seems to be doing the same thing as mine, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to walk it through the bridge backwards, hopefully, as long as it keeps playing along, he's got a nice fish on here, hopefully this is Danny's first grey, seems like it should be, let's see, fish have been playing along so far, everyone's got a fish except for Danny and Terry, Terry's still on, Danny's on, so let's do this. Stay tuned guys, this is how we did it with my fish, so hopefully at least you can get this footage now, so you get someone to hold the rod there, there's Bronson holding the rod, then Danny runs around through these, um, through the, through the bridge. Nice Danny, keep going boy! There's old Danny crossing the bridge here, so... One, 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 one through, and then when you get to the top, then you top, you run over, yes, run, and then you run. See, then you don't have to keep going underneath, you try to speed up, with this. this bridge is going to break one day, oh my goodness. Okay, there goes Danny. 
and then you try to get him to the beach. You run up there by that greenhouse, you run up as far as you possibly can to get the, as much line back on your reel as you can. Killing me. Go get him. So his fish has gone all the way to that point over there and then it turned. We, then he held extra tension and then it turned there and he picked up the slack. And now it's going back right. Now the same thing's gonna happen. Then he's gonna run up there and then he's gonna turn here against the rocks there. He's gonna turn again. Well, that's what we're predicting. You can never predict the shock, but more or less. What's up, guys? As you can see, the moon is out. The sun has set. And Terry's still on. It's been about, I don't know, three and a half hours probably. Four hours. It's a big fish. He got his main line back now, but it's still a while out. So we ran back, we got headlamps, we got, got uh, spotlights. And then these two are geared and ready. And uh, I'm a bit barefoot. But I'll get that sorted. And we're gonna land this monster grey. What's up guys? So, epic flipping day. But Terry's still on. <laughs> there he's still on, but we're gonna get him out. We're gonna get him out. We have tons of spotlights here. The Bronson's brave work. And freedom giving him some advice, so yeah. And Lawrence camera when we land. I will support. <laughs> on day! <laughs> Deck, man! Alright, guys, it is now 8 o'clock. Terry's been on since about 1 o'clock. <laughs> Alright guys, it's a great shot. Uh, 226 centimeters. We've got 6.5-7 hours. It's pretty poked. <laughs> there we go guys, there is landed this awesome grave. 